Hi everyone! Yeah, this is the first titty talk uh, in English. Well, we've done it in English before, but the first one in uh, on Instagram Live. I'm always a bit awkward with this one because I'm looking to myself instead of looking at an audience. Oli Marij is here on a distance far away from me, my only quarantine buddy. Um, hi everyone, by the way. Uh, we're gonna do a titty talk live. The first one uh, on this Thursday and after that we're gonna do uh, three others. Trying to inspire you guys, also keep a positive vibe uh, amongst everything what's happening right now, which is a lot. Um, and also it ha we're talking about it every time, every moment of the day, thinking about it, which is good. We have to think about it, but also we have to um, keep ourselves surrounded with positive things as well. Um, and I think that's really important also help each other. So these titty talks will be on every Thursday from 19.30 till like 8 o'clock. Um, and we'll talk with, in, uh, with artists, uh, philosophers, journalists, everything. So today we'll be talking with artist CU first, then with Mary, uh, founder of Wonder Women, also a scientist. And at the end, we'll be talking with This Is Gary, the illustrator, um, uh, at the end. And the theme of today is creative quarantine. Um, can we still be positive today? Um, Can we keep on staying positive? Can we also um, think about like um, creating something new out of everything what's happening right now? Um, so that would be really uh, um, interesting to talk with my guests. I hope that um, see you is already there or not. I hope she's trying to call me. Let's check it out. Um, see you, see you, see you. Are you here? I'm hoping see you is online. Let me check it out or I'll keep on talking. Um, one sec, you guys. Uh, la, 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 la. Um, but the first we'll be talking is, um, um, How can you create something when you're an artist also, but also like when you're not an artist, artist could be something else you're creating um, in this period um, we're living in right now. And we're going to talk with this um, first with you. Uh, so this is Gary. You're at the third person of um, of the talk, but I don't see, see you yet online. Um, uh, one sec, Fia. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm talking to her. Is this so awkward? I never do vlogging, so great. Marais is also looking at me from the back. I'll show it to you guys in an amazing outfit. The only audience of this city talk today, my quarantine buddy, we're always keeping a distance of like one and a half meter or now even more. Gary, I'm waiting for Gary. Da, 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 da. Hi! <laughs> okay, it's working. Yeah, sorry, I'm such a noob with these kind of stuff, but... Brad, hiya. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How are uh, you? Yeah, good. This is not a good angle, huh? Should I hold it? I'm... What's convenient oh. for you? Put it in the comments. Uh, oh. Welcome. Is this Gary. working? Yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. You're the awesome. first one. Um, The first one ever on the Instagram live titty talk. I feel honored. <laughs> um, Hi, everybody. That's amazing. I'm, I'm having a glass, a glass of wine. Uh, a glass of wine. Talk. <laughs> I'm so slightly awkward about the whole selfie vibes. The selfie vibes? This. Yeah, or... this. Like, yeah. Only, I only see like you or people around it but like not looking at myself the entire time yeah these times make you extremely self-conscious i think <laughs> today i also had like a takeover and i was vlogging and i thought like i thought i would never do this but oh well here we are strange times let's and go also like for you i'm wearing a nice sweater but yeah. like normally i'm during this whole quarantine like days we're only like in day what is it uh six six I'm like only wearing like a big shirt for my dad and like you know, boyfriend jeans. That's it. Yeah, so I actually I actually I try to. At least, yeah, thank you so much. I actually t 
try to do like the upper part every day, like something interesting. Because otherwise, uh, it's going to be a long three weeks this or is even more. The under parts. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is mine. <laughs> always. Crocs always. <laughs> okay. But first of all, we're talking about during this talk with you, with Amiri, and also with uh, See You at the end. So See You will be the third person. And yeah. To Amiri. Fashion um, and uh, Amazing. Um, <laughs> we're talking about uh, being creative in quarantine. So creative quarantine is the first theme um, of today's talk. And next week we'll be having another one. And after that, another one. Um, cool. Today, uh, you are the guest. Um, to start with, you're an artist. This is Gary, is your artist name. Well, you can find yeah. Gary as well on Instagram. Um, yeah. You're one of the artists um, we are proudly also to support with the Titty Mac. Um, and you have an amazing style. The funny Thank thing you. is, I can show people also in the back. I'm gonna switch it up, but look, there is an artist of uh, an artwork of uh, This is Gary as well. Yes. Oh, yeah. Got his poor mind's birthday. Um, but um, to start off, um, okay, this period, it's it's so strange. Uh, it's awful what's happening right now. What's going to happen? We don't know what's going to happen. Everyone is also um, dealing with it differently. Also, depending on uh, even which hour of the day, for example. Yeah. Um, but how do you look at this period we're currently in? Yeah, like you said, like every hour is kind of different. Um, mm -hmm. I'm really trying to stay positive and until now it's kind of working. Mm -hmm. I have to say I'm I'm quite privileged being an introvert and I, I really like to spend a lot of time alone and I really like to uh, create on my own. Yeah. So that's working out for me. But uh, yeah, it's going back and forth the whole day. Uh, like I wake up and it's the first thing you think, of, think about. It feels yeah. like you wake up and like, Oh, did I dream dream about that or no? It's like a reality right now. And then, uh, yeah, like the mornings are quite good, and then I'm like positive and energy energetic, and I see like all the possibilities. And then, like every every day around three or four, I have like this. Um, uh, yeah, I realize that this is happening, and we don't know what's coming. So yeah, it's really going all kind of directions. But I'm I'm really try to stay positive and. Take it day by day. Don't plan anything. Uh, just see how the days go. And yeah. how does it like? Um, how does uh, how does it affect you as an artist? Like also um, um, financially, but also like creatively wise. Uh, yeah. Well, it influenced me like a lot uh, in both ways. Well, I'm. Again, I'm quite privileged because I'm um, also a teacher at uh, HVA, at the um, Amsterdam Fashion Institute. Uh, so it doesn't uh, affect me financially as hard as some other creatives. Yeah. Uh, so that work is uh, still going, but like all my uh, illustration jobs are obviously cancelled. And um, I was working on some more like long-term uh, projects for myself, but I just stopped them because everything is so uncertain now. So now I uh, I find myself... Yeah, using my creativity more as like um, therapy almost and like, uh, yeah, a way to uh, yeah reflect on this uh, period and uh, yeah, make something out of it. So, yeah, I'm almost back to childish creation. So I'm like working with clay, uh, working with a lot of like crayons and things like that. Yeah. Uh, and just like making all day without uh, without like a definite cause. Yeah. So it's become more playful and more like a therapy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you see your work changing as well? Um, thematically, yes. Yeah, so like everything now, almost everything is about this situation. So I'm like uh, sketching a lot and uh, yeah, how I feel and also, and I'm trying to make it a bit more light because I, I feel like when I go more in depth and yeah, especially at the at the beginning of this whole um, this whole situation, I I really try to uh, put humor in it and it's some kind of lightness, always, yeah. especially for myself and maybe also for people around me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, um, is it like do you, 
Do you find it bad if you sometimes feel like negative about this? Because of course, like you cannot be playful every time, every day, no. every moment. No, no, that, no. It's a, it's part of it, of course. Um, but I think for myself, I, I just I'm trying to keep my sanity. So that's uh, and of course there are, are times of like uh, that you're sad or like very worried about what's going to happen to us and to people that are, that are far less fortunate than, than myself. Uh, so there are a lot of worries. Um, but I think when I'm uh, creating things uh, with those worries in mind, it will only uh, get me down more. And at this point, I'm just trying to, you know, get through the day and yeah, find something lighthearted in the day. Yeah. 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 But uh, that's definitely, that's, pro that's probably going to change. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, and how, like, um, is there something, like, um, in a way that um, we can, like, uh, you as an artist, but also artists especially, can support each other? Sorry, I saw Leroy, F.O.I. Hello, uh, losing away. Sorry, one, one more time. <laughs> Leroy is sending a little glass of wine. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Coping mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I was wondering, like, if there is, um, um, uh, like, would you have an advice? Uh, and now, especially for like the creators, because I think an, an advice for everyone how to cope with is it too big of a question, especially yeah. a lot of people are claiming to be uh, scientists and uh, and uh, doctors. Well, yeah, yeah, they're not. Um, yeah. So I think it's better if we focus on our own. Uh, to like give an advice in your own like um um branch like your my own, own field yeah. So, yeah well like oh, sorry. what would be your advice for like creatives today uh yeah well getting back to what you're saying like everybody thinks they're an expert and doctor my first advice would be limit your uh time reading the news and reading articles and uh whatsapp groups about the virus of course yeah. you have to stay informed but Like this weekend, I was cons I was like obsessed with it and constantly reading about it, and uh, it just drives me insane. Yeah. So I think like stay informed, but don't get overkill. Uh, for creators, for me, it really helps to uh, go outside a lot. Just get your mind like off of things, and uh, yeah, just wander around and be outside. And uh, yeah, like I said. Um, For me, at this point, it really helps to not work on something uh, that's in the future because the future is now so insecure and, yeah, we really don't know what's going to happen. So just really be in the moment and make something uh, from what is happening inside of you right now. Yeah. Because there's so much happening and this feeling is so unique in a way. Like, we never experienced something like this. So I think this is the time to, to make and create and, uh, almost, yeah, capture it as well. Like... The, it's insane and you have to cope in some way so I think for me art now is or like making creating is like therapy and it's like uh, processing everything that's happening and also a way uh, to relax yeah. and to have something to do in your days because it's easy to go on Netflix and watch series but it, it's not going to help you I think and there was also another question of someone who said uh, do you speak like Uh, what changed with your di direct environment, like a friend's family? I, I think uh, we've all experienced that, but... Sorry. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, yeah, not seeing them. I'm fortunate that I live with uh, my roommate and best friend, Maxime. Shout out to Maxime. Um, so that really helps. Uh, but uh, other than that, I'm, I am seeing my parents. Uh, um, but that's like the only circle I have now, like in physical contact, or not even like... Yeah. Uh, but other people I just uh, speak on uh, f uh, via f uh, FaceTime or uh, house party. And yesterday I had a, a Skype date. So we play, We had to say, put on candles and had a little date like that. So yeah, you get very creative in that way. Yeah. I do yeah. miss, I, I, I really want to be touched though. I have to say. <laughs> Me the same. Really I'm really touched touched. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My guy yeah. is already laughing at the couch as well. My, <laughs> yeah. I, like my Just personal, to be honest. My what? personal called quarantine buddy. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You need a quarantine buddy. Yeah, like yeah. that. But we don't have. 
but we don't hug, no. Yeah, we 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 should do it more. But uh -huh. other than that, no hugging. Nope. Okay, Gary, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch you with uh, the next guest. I hope Mary is already uh, there. Perhaps uh, I can take a picture of the screen. Marie, can I? One sec. One sec. Can I share um, an illustration based on the, um, the topic we just talked about, about not having enough sex and physical contact? Yeah, please show us one. It's with a Dutch um, title. And it says, lekker vingeren met je schilverige knauw. <laughs> because my hands are so dry now, you know, because of the hand synthesizer. So, yeah, I thought I had to put that in, um, in an ilu. Oh, yeah, I love it. Self-love and, uh, yeah, flaky hands. <laughs> It's okay. This is a different thing. Uh, sex and in quarantine and how to, well... Yeah? For a different time. Different time, different <laughs> talk. Okay, well, uh, see you later. And now I'm gonna... You hop out. And I hope Mary hops in. How do I hop out? Oh, I see. Just probably bye -bye. like this. Bye. Almost bye. Oh, okay. I hope Mary is here as well. Um, I hope Mary is calling me. Or we'll switch it up with see you again. Let me see... Mary, Mary, Mary. Um, oh, wait. And see you. Oh, my God. Let me see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I hope Mary is here. Mary, Mary, Mary. I'm waiting for Mary, the next person in the talk. Yes. Yeah. Yay. It's working. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. I am doing good. How are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. So one day I'm doing okay. Then I'm doing... I'm almost like, how did we end up in this really bad movie? Like, yeah. I know. Like, it's, a bit, it's a bit surreal, right? And it's changing every day. So I just sometimes don't know what will happen. Because no. it's a day-to-day -day basis thing. Yeah. And also like... We're still privileged because I'm still you're sitting in like a, a house with like yeah yeah yeah, yeah definitely yet, but yeah definitely like, yeah it's, it's so like the thing we could always do like uh, in Dutch you say the halle eve we just get we just um, that's not n normal anymore like the thing you no. see, for example I don't know uh, people getting coffee in a sitcom or in a movie. Yeah, it's That's not like possible. Totally different world. Yeah, it's a new normal that we've been within my research team. We'll, we're talking about adjusting to the new normal. What's basically happening right now? Yeah, because maybe you're founder, uh, co-founder of Wonder Woman and your research yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, we want to reflect with you a bit like uh, we talked with this Gary about like life as an artist. And after mm -hmm. this, we'll be talking with uh, CU as well. Yeah. Um, But for you, like from the perspective also of also like a researcher, uh, what mm -hmm. you think, what do you see happening um, the way we um, uh, like cope with the circumstance we are currently in? It's actually pretty funny because you see that there's uh, the shift is a bit double. So on the one hand, you see that there are a lot of people putting up very social in initiatives, um, helping others out. But you also see a lot of hoarding, which is very unnecessary, you guys. We live in a very fortunate country, so we don't need to hoard. But um, what I do find very interesting is, as a society, we made the shift to accessibility very quickly. And I think this is something that I, as a social scientist, but also as a you know activist and feminist, found very interesting, because I know that a lot of... We have two million... Um, people in the Netherlands who are disabled or have a chronic disease, two million, that's a lot. And they have been fighting for certain social rights, as in accessibility. Yeah. But also they've been isolated a lot. And I think that this has been very interesting to see that as a society, we were able to shift. Yeah. But there are alternatives in, in working and living and teaching. Um, and I hope really that after this whole ordeal is over, we we can still do that and offer that to those who can't um, live their lives the way that we do on a day, daily basis. Yeah. 
but that's difficult, I guess, to like, uh, you, yeah, you cannot make sure that really happens or stays that way or yeah, I think, I don't know, I think it's, of course, we cannot make, you know, create a hypothesis over the future because we have no idea. But I do think that, and I do want to invite, you know, us as activists and feminists to also, because I also have to be always aware, because I'm, a, you know, I I'm, I don't have this ability that I view the, the society and world in a very different way. And I think it's very good to be um, if this is over, it's a good moment of reflection. How can I make, how can I ensure that yeah. when I'm creating events that I'm thinking about them? And obviously it's, it, it can happen all the time, but just this Insta life is so creative and I'm seeing all these creative ways of working and sharing art popping up. And I just hope and invite everyone to keep doing that if this is over. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, what do you like? Because uh, what I also find interesting, the way it shifts like uh, online, you see like a lot of frightening stuff, but also a lot of positive initiatives as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but also it kind of feels of like we're o almost overusing online. Um, compared yeah. To yeah. Now what like is happening offline? Like. Yeah. This is also very interesting. I was just um, in England for my field work for my thesis and I went to a seminar and it, it was about different ways of working. And the writer of the book Rest was there giving the seminar. Let me see his name. He, yeah, he is um, Alex Suyun Kim, Kim Pang. And basically what it's what this situation is basically also teaching us and that's resting. Because yeah. we live in a society which is very based on productivity and he really beautifully in his book rightfully argues that we need to rest a bit more because work and rest are in in his own words uh, partners not rivals and i think that everybody being online right now um yeah. it's also you, you you know your mind is working so take this moment to take a rest take a rest from your work take a rest from you know social media take a rest from the news stream as um gary was just saying very rightfully and that will also boost your creativity yeah, you know, slow down because time is slowing down a little bit now, and it can hopefully make us rethink how we uh, combine work and also other activities in our life. Yeah, and I, yeah, because people like we're talking about being creative in quarantine as well, mm -hmm. like, um, and what Gary also said, like the way um, also your mind. Um, your ideas will be changing, but also your work will be changing. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you think like, yeah, but it can change in something positive, but of course people are afraid and we don't know what's coming and we don't know, um, like, and, like even for me, my, my feelings change like per day, per hour. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And I think that's really good. I also think we as society don't, have to overdo the happiness thing a little bit because I feel like sometimes we're um, only focusing on the positive emotions, but also you don't have to go in a downward negative spiral, but yeah. by suppressing what you're feeling, you're not allowing yourself to adjust. So you need a framework to adjust to this normal new that you're basically coping with. And I think that if we're constantly pushing ourselves to be mind, like be like find something positive in it, I mean, there's nothing positive about the fact that I'm not going to see my parents for a very long time, right? Mm. But it's also something that you have to accept eventually. So I think that it's okay to feel to feel anxiety, but just just don't get stuck into it. Just give yourself some some time to adjust. I think that's very important. Is it is it okay to be afraid? Yes, of course, of course. Nobody knows what will happen. And I think that insecurity kind of makes us afraid. And I think it's really good that you're saying that you're feeling that because you're not holding that in your body, you're sharing that with me, right? And then I think I think it's okay to, to be afraid, but just don't get stuck in that, in that yeah. emotion because yeah. it won't yeah. help you either way. And how yeah. can we keep on looking forward? Like... I say make the best use of the time that you have. Take this time also to rest. Again, rest. Please, everyone, rest a bit more. We're, we're running all the time. 
Um, I, for instance, am taking up some stuff that I wanted to do a very long time of because I'm always so busy. I, I, I didn't have time for whether it is meditating, yoga, whether it is in learning a new language. We're so privileged to have, you know, di digital technologies and all these kinds of ways to keep, you know, um, learning new stuff and um, make use of that time to get through your days. Yeah. And I think and, and FaceTime friends like FaceTime your family members, like even talking with you so nice because I'm still, you know, seeing you in, in a way. So I, I think there's a difference between being alone or being in isolation and feeling isolated. Yeah. And um, understand the difference and prevent that you will become isolated. I think that's very important. I, we also asked like a few questions before uh, we started this live stream uh, mm -hmm. on <laughs> stories. Um, and also a lot of people answered like, I still see my friends a lot, but only in, yeah, online. So like it changed like from like, the offline uh, to the online uh, world. Um, but do you think like, um, if you look at like the way we um, cope with like, be creating an online community and an online presence uh, towards an uh, offline presence and an offline community. Um, like, is it in some way like even more, um, I don't know, um, is what is offline more than online, or online more than offline? Because now it seems that like the online community we sometimes like nag about, like before, mm -hmm. like, oh no. It's so sometimes shallow or superficial. Like mm. now, now it seems like online can be a really strong community as well. Yes, definitely. It taps into that whole issue around disability, right? Like they have had been facing closed doors as a no, it's not an option. We have to do everything offline. Whereas now we see we, it's not an, an, an um, or, or situation. It can yeah. be an end, but we can use both. And I think that you have to... Uh, use it in certain situations. In certain, in certain situations, offline is better than online. In certain situations, it definitely isn't. Yeah. So I think that we need to tap into the best things of of, of both worlds, if I can say that, and yeah. make use of that. Yeah. And um, no, I don't think um, online is shallow at all. And I think it actually helps create um, a lot of connection as well. And I think we need to appreciate that. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mary. Thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you. And see you through FaceTime, I hope. Yes. How can I will uh, stay in stay um, tune? <laughs> yes, we'll have see you for the last person uh, of, during this talk. So I'm hoping see you will be calling with me. Well, see you, see you, where are you? I hope see who calls me. She's the last person we're going to talk about creative and quarantine, the first Titty Talk live on Instagram. I'm waiting for see you to connect. I'm also having a low battery, which is awesome. See you, where are you? See you. I'm seeing, this is Gary responding. Leer van Kunst.nl is also watching. Hello, guys. Oh, I already sent a request. All right. I'm going to do it again, see you. Bam. I'm hoping. Yes, connecting. Oh, 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 finally. Nice. I love your hair, by the way. I love your hair. Hmm? I love the hair color. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, um, all right. You're the last guest, but certainly... A very, Not very nice one as well. Um, uh, we're talking about being creative in quarantine. Creative quarantine. Um, we're in a like, like we said in the beginning, it's a strange days. Um, but also, we're very privileged in Holland the way we live. And we are, uh, we, we have access to a lot of stuff. So even like discussing this in this way, I think is already really privileged. Um, mm -hmm. But we want to keep like also um, positive stuff happening and also trying to inspire each other and also keep a conversation like we do normally in Titty, titty Talks, but now online. And um, for you, you're an activist, you're also an artist. Um, you uh, also reflect on a lot of different themes and discussions. Um, mm -hmm. And 
I was wondering to start off, like, uh, how do you look at this period we are in situation we are currently in? Well, for me, I'm actually pretty okay. Um, when you, you know, relevate it to the whole circumstances going on right now, I have the feeling that this sort of weird apocalypse feeling was going to happen one day or another, but I didn't really expect to happen it so fast, though. Um, but I do see a lot of things happening and a shift is going on, something that we as human beings maybe needed for a long time. Yeah. Um, so that's a little bit the feeling that I have. So, of course, it's a very weird situation and um, a lot of people are dying and it's terrible. But at the same time, I have the feeling that human beings really needed this call or something to let yeah. the ship happen. Yeah. Are you, um, um, are you afraid or are you, are you optimistic about the future or what's your, what's your current feeling? Um, the only thing that I'm not certain about is that I don't know how long it's going to take. So, uh, for me as an asthma patient, uh, I'd rather stay inside uh, as long as I need to. Um, and I recommend other people to do so as well. Um, so for me, I, yeah, the, I'm not sure how long it's going to take for, so for as long as I know, um, I'm pretty unsure about the future. But at the same time, I have the feeling and I know pretty much for sure that at one point it's going to be okay and we're gonna we're gonna get through this and it's going to be a good shift and I'm just optimistic, but at the same time also of course afraid. Yeah, and it, perhaps also because we don't know what's coming. It's like yeah. most it's all um, it's like almost a visible but also invisible enemy, you know? Exactly. Yeah. You're 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 not you don't even know what you're facing, so how do you even know how to cope with it, you know? So I think it's every day different. Some, maybe one day I will feel terrible and, what, and the other day I will feel, feel better. I don't know. For me, the last couple of days were pretty fine, but maybe after a week I will be, like, going crazy. So I'm not sure, but for now I'm okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And um, in what way do you um, see your art developing um, now? Um, I think that I more now experiment with things that I normally don't have the patience for because I'm very impatient. So now I rather have this work that I can go through a little bit by little bit and taking my time to actually paint for a long time instead of just working it out and putting on, putting it on social media, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and I really have this urge to paint something like the apocalypse. It's a little bit weird, but <laughs> just the end of the world or something. <laughs> you're you're working on it right now? Yeah, yeah. I can show you a little bit of what I draw, but not really finished yet. But I'm thinking your apocalypse will be really colorful. Yeah, it will be. So it's like me watching the TV and then all versions of me like walking through the chaos. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, it, it looks like really colorful and like... Yeah, just put something on it and it looks more positive, I guess. But is this also a way of coping? Like creating, but also kind of trying to sometimes use humor and also like kind of being colorful in some kind of way? Yeah, I think for my art, it's always kind of heavy subjects yeah. that I'm trying to, I don't know, let people be conscious of. So if I make it like all dark and uh, sinister or something, I'm feeling it, a lot of people are like, nah, not for me. Yeah. And now it's more that they don't even notice that it's so heavy. And then they look at it and at one point they were like, oh, now I get it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, and um, is it like, is it bad to be uh, like uh, sometimes negative about um, what's happening right now? Is it no, I actually don't think so. No, of course not. I mean, everything is me meant to be in balance. I mean, without darkness, there's no happiness, you know. And um, of course, it's very important to not to get stuck in it too long. So not that like day in, day out, you feel the same negative feelings and if you never try to actually uh, shift these to positive feelings. So, um, but I mean, I think it's very okay to just let it be and just um, be conscious about what you're feeling and try to 
think of how is it that I feel this way and what can I actually do to make myself feel better. Yeah. Um, but it's actually pretty okay. I, I'm not going to judge about how anyone copes with it, but I only hope that people are not going to be a burden for anyone else, like uh, going to shop all day outside or something, or don't, you know, uh, think about other people and putting them in danger. I think that's uh, a little bit selfish. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, oh, thank you, by the way. Great chat. Thank you. To give this up. Thank you. Um, hey, and, um, yeah, because you see... Oh, the internet is, like, a little bit... Crazy? I'm keeping talking while he was, yes, back again. Um, yeah, because um, we also talked with Gary, like, on um, uh, work is changing, but also, like, uh, financially. Do you see, are you, like, struggling as an artist right now? Like, I know it's, like, compared to other stuff, it sounds like so such a tiny, like, thing. But, like, yeah. if we focus on, like, uh, your industry, because I think that's an industry we you can really we can really talk about because I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, so I, I don't know exactly. the facts about what's going on. So, but if we can yeah. reflect on like the creative industry, do you worry about your uh, financial situation? Um, to be honest, not really. And it's mostly because as a freelancer, I've already experienced like uh, maybe one year ago or two years ago, I was actually in a financial state yeah. that I didn't have any money as a buffer. And I actually learned from it so badly that I do actually have a buffer right now for many months to go. Um, and that okay. is maybe a bit to say, but it's also being conscious about being a freelancer and all the circumstances that go with it. And at the same time, I've yeah. always balanced my illustration work and my graphic design. And a lot of companies actually yeah. want to promote their socials right now. So I do have a lot of uh, graphic design things coming up. So that's also pretty okay, I guess. Um, and it's also nice, of course, that for the upcoming time, three months of, uh, how do you say it, by uh, getting from yeah. the government. So I guess it's, that's nice. But uh, no, not really stress, actually. Oh, yeah, here. Uh, Maxime, what's the first thing you're planning to do when uh, when it's over? Difficult question, because... I think hug every fucking oh. random person on the street now. <laughs> yeah, for me as well. I felt like one big... Unless they're like... Yeah, yeah, unless they're like sick or something, that would be stupid. But I really miss those physical contact because my boyfriend is actually in house right now and he's also stuck. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah, and I still, it also feels like something, and again, uh, not like what this, the horrible stuff, what's happening and what's gonna, perhaps gonna happen as well, but also the positive stuff is like contact with your friends, like having those uh, talks as well online, or like yeah. having Maraille with me three meters away, still having Maraille with me three meters away, like yeah. It, yeah. It, it also kind of like creates like more of a, um, intimate like connection sometimes with people i think so i think so i i have the feeling that this period of um terrible situations you really find out what people are all about and i also have some people that were actually still partying and going out that i saw on instagram and i'm like oh, okay bye i don't need you in my life anymore <laughs> i don't know i just don't really feel that these people actually care about others but themselves and then in these kind of situations they're like okay i'm really gonna take this time to also reflect on my relationships with people yeah and who are actually taking more energy than you know than i think it's worth so yeah hey and um uh one thing as well, like we talked about your situation, Gary's situation, but what would be something you would recommend other creatives or other artists, how they can support support each other, but also how to stay positive? Mm, I, mm, I think it's very nice, that's like what Maureen said as well before, is that it's very nice to take your time to maybe uh, see if you can learn a new skill or, you know, learning something that you've always wanted to learn but never found the time for. Yeah. And yeah. if you have a business and you really wanted to take the time to think of new strategies or maybe reflect on yourself and your company, like where are we standing now and what have I actually accomplished in the last couple of months, days or years and really be grateful for every day that we are still here and doing our best to 
I don't know, survive, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, you. Uh, okay. <laughs> and uh, I want you, like, um, yeah, also ask you, like, the first thing you're going to do, like, hugging, but also, like, is there also something, the first thing you are planning to do, like, with your work? Like, are you dreaming already about, like, an exhibition or creating Ooh. something or co-creating something with someone in a room? Can be anything. I actually wonder if there are, go there are going to be, like, an explosion of apocalypse, quarantine, corona, ex exhibitions, upcoming time after these months or something. <laughs> that I was going to write a book and create exhibitions. Maybe we can actually make this uh, event for so, so many kinds of people and make, like, photographers and artists going in one room and then do an exhibition about corona or something. That would be crazy. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm so... We could even like do that one online as well. Yeah, true, true. I think that's going to be the next step, actually. Yeah. Maybe a documentary. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, and, um, oh yeah, art booming, yeah. <laughs> um, see you, thank you. I'm going to end this talk together with you, so stay yeah. in the screen. Um, in the screen, in the phone, in the talk, in the live, whatever, yes. Um, We'll be having this talk again next week with different guests and with different uh, theme as well. Um, and also we'll be having a talk, um, third one after that, fourth one. Uh, we've got Milou Data, but also Tatiana Omuli, many Vulcans and Torn. Um, we even asked Hasna as well, um, um, to talk about another theme. So we're, uh, so much love, thank you. Um, so that will be really nice. Uh, same time next week, Thursday on 7.30 on the Titty Mac Live. Uh, thank you. See you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Miss Gary. And guys, Bye. stay strong together. Stay positive. Yes. And um, I'm also trying to, uh, for the last thing, thank you, my audience. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Bye. -bye.